I don't blame taxi drivers. A number of commuters thought unable to carry out most of their normal function due to their inability to get around or in support of the island-wide strike by taxi operator. They believe that the government knew well in advance that the protest was coming and could have prevented it from happening. The government is at its fault in this one. Huh, that they say. If they had cared about us, they would be listening to the cry of the taxi men before it reached this stage. Mitzi Lennon told the news on Monday. Lennon, a nurse from Manchester, had to make alternative preparation to get her child to school on Monday morning and will have to take the time off work to take them home in the evening. Yes, taxi men make mistakes. They may forget to pay or don't have the money to pay the tickets they get. We like to say that they are disciplined, but many times they get tickets while helping out passengers, and some of the police write tickets for an exorbitant amount of money. It's an extra amount of money, yes, for true. She said, 67-year-old Bet Weeks, who is in Greater Portmore also support the action taken by the transport operator. The government could have asked the taxi drivers to stay their hands and work something out long time, but everybody is paying hard nose, she said. Retrieve who a prince believe her age said that she is fit and willing to walk to do what she has to get done on Monday. I am at the ATM, as you see. When I'm done, I will walk to where I need to do my other chores and try to get things done before the sun gets too hot. I don't blame the taxi drivers, she said. In Portmore St. Catching, some people who were at bus stops for a few hours returned home. I'm going home. There's nothing I can do. I can't get in a vehicle and the JUTC buses have not come either. I heard that the taxi drivers wanted some deadline to pay off their tickets, but they didn't get it, so this is what happened. I feel that they could have given them time, like oh, they knew that it is taxes come off the road, it would have been an effect on us. A convenient of Mercy Academy Alpha student told the news Monday morning. Yeah, my viewers, we are going to hear all type of things. We are going to hear all type of concern. We are going to hear a little of this and we are going to hear a little of that. But do remember, it's always two sides to the story. So leave a comment in the comment section. Woman held up and robbed $500 by men posing as taxi driver. Here we go again. The police have arrested and charged. A man said to be a taxi operator after he reportedly held up and rob a woman a $500 in cash along with her phone. The police said the man identified as 32-year-old Raman Robinson is a transport operator of Wind Road Mandeville in Manchester, was charged with robbery with aggravation on Saturday, November the 12th. The reported robber incident took place on Old Hope Road, St. Andrew on Monday, October the 31st. Reports from the Affachy police are that about 6.45 p.m. a woman boarded a taxi near Papine St. Andrew. Three men, including the driver, were reportedly in the Toyota Pro Box motor car. Why, my viewers, and people are get really and really grimy these days. $500, my viewers. You have to hold up somebody and take. But anyway, my viewers, like, comment, and subscribe.